Hi, this is Kendra Little from Redgate Software. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can break and fix SQL source control. Now, you might wonder why I would show you how to break something. Well, I learn a lot from breaking things in a safe place. I like to break things in a safe place, but I inevitably find that figuring out how to fix something can teach you a lot about something. And it's always interesting the understanding you get when you see how to fix something too. So let's take a look and dive into this example on how if we go against SQL source controls advice, which is very good advice, but if we go against that advice and make it do something it recommends against, we can get it into a bad state, but we can also come back from that bad state and then keep on going. So the very first thing we're gonna do is create a database to cause some trouble in. I am on a dedicated test instance. There is no one using this for me to bother. And I've created a database named partition test dev. I'm gonna go ahead and link that database to source control. So I'm gonna right click. I'm going to say link database to source control and bring up that window there. I didn't actually click before. Now I need to create, I'm gonna use git. So I'm gonna create a local directory for it to go to. So let's just do make dir and then let's call it partition test dev there. I will go into partition test dev. I already have git installed on my local machine. So I'm gonna say git init. So I have initialized an empty Git repository in this directory here. Now in the real world, you know, I would have a remote repo that I'm pushing it to. We don't even need to go that far to break stuff today. We're just gonna break stuff on our local machine. So I'm gonna say, I want to go to C git partition test dev there. And SQL source control looks in there and it's like, oh yeah, I see that. And it is a Git repo. So I don't have any little warning messages there. And I'm gonna go ahead and link that to source control. So it's just an empty database. There's not a bunch of stuff in there at this point at all. If I on SQL source control, go to the commit tab, it's like, hey, yeah, nice empty database. Well, let's cause some trouble. I'm going to first, use the database to create some objects in there. And then I'm gonna create just a simple partitioned table. I am gonna go ahead and put go there. I should, should have formatted my code more nicely into multiple batches. First, I'm gonna create my partition function. It's just got a couple different date time twos in there. My table isn't particularly meaningful, by the way. And then I'm creating a partition scheme on that partition function that it's not doing good things. I'm just saying put all the partitions on primary. We wouldn't want to do that in the real world, but we're just creating something to cause trouble, right? And now I'm going to create a table on that partition scheme. So, so far so good, right? Well, here's where I'm going to cause the trouble. <laughs> so what I'm going to say is when I refresh here on my SQL source control page, it's like, hey, I see things that you can commit. And I am going to check off two out of my three objects. And if let's, let's get these columns together just so I can zoom and you can see what they are more easily at the same time. I'm saying I wanna go ahead and commit the table and I wanna commit the partition function, but I don't wanna commit the partition scheme. I am allowed to do that. But when I click commit here, SQL source control looks at this and it's like, uh, this doesn't look like a good idea. Like Kendra, by the way, you, have selected to commit some items that depend on things that you didn't select. It notices, hey, you did not select the partition scheme. And by default, it's like you should commit all the dependencies. Here's where we cause trouble. I'm gonna uncheck that and say, don't, don't commit the dependencies, but go ahead, right? So it's like, well, I guess you know better. Well, I, I, don't, I don't really know better because I was able to commit this and I say, okay, but now SQL source control, when it's looking at my database says, I'm trying to make sense of the objects you've got in here. <laughs> and by the way, some of your objects are referring to a partition scheme that isn't there. So the table is in fact named Hi I am partitions. That's my poorly named table. And in fact, it does refer to a partition scheme named PS that doesn't exist. 
It warned me, but I went ahead and said, just trust me, I know what I'm doing. Okay, maybe I didn't know what I'm doing. So I've gotten to a state where my source control is an inconsistent state, and SQL source control doesn't really want to let me continue to do things because it's it's inconsistent, and I've got my error showing up here. If I look at my complete error message down here, it's, it is very clearly telling me what's going wrong. So that's, that's good, but I am, if I refresh here, it's like, yeah, we, ha we have a problem. You're in a bad spot here. So I'm going to click cancel here. If I do get into a spot where I have just committed changes that are not good, I am, it's trying to refresh in the background and it's like, no, it's not right. The easiest way that I found to fix this, notice that SQL source control did tell me about the issue right after it happened. So I have not pushed this anywhere. In fact, I actually haven't even connected my local repo with anywhere else. So I am going to just say, I want to get rid of the last thing I committed. Like, thank you for telling me promptly something was wrong there. So I'm actually just going into Git and I'm saying, you know, ditch ditch the last thing that I committed. Now, I am not a Git expert. I got this command from Stack Overflow. I want to be very clear <laughs> that you too should search Stack Overflow diligently and read very carefully about any commands that you run. But it basically says, hey, okay, I did move back the last one. And now if I come back to SQL source control, well, SQL source control is caching some stuff. It's like, eh, yeah, things still look funky. And you're like, well, I rolled back my last commit. We have been so confusing that to help straighten it out on our local instance, we need to do a little bit more. I'm going to go to other source control tasks, and I'm going to unlink my database from source control. And this is just saying, are you really sure you want to do this? It's it's not like you're going to lose everything you have, but if I do have any uncommitted migration or pre and post deployment scripts, they will be lost when I unlink. Hopefully I'm not getting myself into an inconsistent state by ignoring warning messages all the time, right? So I don't have any of these. So I'm going to say, yep, I do want to go ahead and unlink. It unlinks and now I can go ahead and relink link my database to source control, and anything that I had committed previously is going to go ahead and be there and be found. Now, I did in my excitement in the video, what I did when I right clicked there was I said document the database when what I actually wanted to click on, it doesn't hurt the database to document it luckily. <laughs> Uh, what I actually want to click on is link the database to source control. So don't look at the video camera when you're trying to work on your source control. Look, look at the screen instead. And we will tell it, yeah, 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 we've got, we've got a folder right here for partition test dev. Let's link it back up. And then we're, we don't have that last commit anywhere. Everything is in the right state. And now when I click on the commit button, hey, it says, I do see the changes that you made in there, right? These weren't changes to pre or post deployment scripts. These were changes to tables. So it still says, hey, okay, I see your table. I see your partition function. I see your partition scheme. Would you like to check these in? So let's go ahead and this time do what it asks. Let's check them all in instead of like purposefully leaving out a dependency to get it into a bad state. Let's check them all in and the commit completes successfully. As long as we do things that are logical and make sense, it, it works pretty well. So that was just a quick demo of what I thought was a fun example of breaking something and of fixing it, which I don't know. I've just got this love of breaking things. I'm Kendra Little from Redgate Software. I'll see you in another video soon. Bye folks. <laughs>